What's up guys, this is Mr. Erdogan, and you're watching Music with Mr. Erdogan. Today we're going to be learning about our C major scale, so let's get started. So you might be asking yourself, what is a scale? What does a scale mean? Well, a scale, in the simplest way of defining it, is a series of notes. And when I think about my scales, I think about a ladder. Like I'm climbing up a ladder or climbing down a ladder. In our case, we're learning a C major scale. So our first step on the ladder is a C. The next step on the ladder would be a D. And then E, then F, then G, then A, then B, then C. And then when we reach our top note, which in this case is our C, our higher C, we go back down the ladder to our first step, which is our low C. So C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and then C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C. Now you might be thinking to yourself, Mr. Erdogan, why do we need to think about scales? Why do we need to learn scales? Well, scales are very closely related to the key signatures of the music that we play. Now, the key signature is located between our time signature and our treble clef. And if you see any sharps or flats, that'll tell you what the key your piece of music is in. So if we saw a piece of music that had no sharps or flats between our time signature and our treble clef, you would know that your piece of music is in C major. All right, enough talking. Let's think about how we play it. So that was our C major scale. Before we can start learning how to play the C major scale, we need to review some notes. Now don't forget you have your fingerings on the right side. Uh, that's showing you what fingers you need to use to be able to play those notes. And then you have your written music theory, the notes on the staff on the left side of the screen. That's going to show you where the note lands on your staff. So let's start with our low C. Low C looks like this. We have our thumb, one, two, three. And then we have one, two, three, and four on our right hand. And then we have our D. Our D is thumb, one, two, three. And then right hand, one, two, three. Then we have our E, left hand thumb, one, two, three. Right hand, one, two. Then we have our F. Remember, F's the weird one. So left hand, one, two, three with our thumb. And then right hand, one, three, middle fingers up, and then pinky finger down, our fourth finger. Then we have our G, that's one of the first few notes that we learned. That was pretty easy. That was our thumb, one, two, three, with our left hand. Then we have our A, again, one of the first few notes that we learned. Thumb, one, two. And our B, that was our very first note that we learned. Thumb and first finger on our left hand. And then our C, our upper C, is our thumb and our middle finger. Now don't forget to only use your middle finger and don't accidentally push down with your first finger as well. Because if we actually push down with our first finger along with our middle finger, we're not playing a C anymore. That's our A note. So our C sounds like this, our higher C. Okay, so now that we've talked about our music theory and we've talked about all the notes and we've reviewed the notes, we're ready to start trying to play. So let's look at all those notes together on the staff. So that's basically your C major scale right there. So we start from our low C, going up to our high C, and then back down. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Let's play it really nice and slow. Then we're gonna change it after that. One, two, ready, play. So that was half notes. Now let's try changing that to quarter notes. And it's gonna be a little bit faster and a tiny bit more difficult to play. One, two, three, four.
Now let's go ahead and change that to eighth notes and see what that sounds like. One, two, ready. Now let's change it up a little bit. This one's gonna be a little bit more difficult. Let's see if you can keep up. One, two, three, four. So if you're having difficulty remembering where the notes are on the musical staff, but you know where a B lands on your recorder. So B, you know this is a B, but you don't know where a B is on the staff. Or if you know this is an A, but you don't know where an A is on the staff. There's a couple tricks that we can talk about. The first trick is face, space, face, space, face, space. Now you might be saying, what does face, space mean? What does that mean? Where does face go? What is face in music? So let's look at our musical staff again. The letter F, the note F, lands on the first space. The letter A, the note name A, lands on our second space. The letter C lands on our third space. The letter E lands on our fourth space. And when you look at all those letters together, you'll see that they all spell out the word face and they all are on the spaces. So that's why we think face, space, face, space, face, space, face, space. And the next trick that we can use is every good boy deserves fudge. Every good boy deserves fudge. And you may be thinking, okay, what does that mean? So every good boy deserves fudge is our trick for remembering the notes that land on the lines. So if you're having difficulty remembering where every good boy deserves fudge lands, you just think that face lands on the space. So we're thinking, the other one has to be for the lines. Face is taking up our spaces. And the other one, every good boy deserves fudge, is for the lines. Now what do we do with that trick? We need to think about the first letter in each of those words. E, G, B, D, and F. Every good boy deserves fudge. And that's how we remember that one. So I hope you found this video helpful. Please don't forget you could rewind this video as many times as you want and watch it as many times until you're ready to move on to the next video. If you like this video, please go ahead and hit that like button below. It'll really help me out. And if you also wanna get future updates as to when I'm uploading videos for you guys to help you guys continue to learn how to play the recorder, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. And therefore, when you look at all of those letters all together, you see that it is spelling out the word F-A-C-E, space. And when you look at... Uh, 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 just finish the sentence. Jeez. Uh, C major, take 11. 11. As always, guys, if you like this button...